This is your girl, no longer bound. And this is Friday. Yes. Care Givers Corner. Try to get the camera adjusted there. That's good. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Thank you, caregivers. We're so glad that you're here. Yes. Today, we just want to just simply pray that your day is blessed. That you're blessed coming in. That you're blessed going out. That you're blessed in your family. That you're blessed in your mind. That you're blessed in your health. That you're blessed in your finances. That you are just blessed in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes, yes. Now, for the ones of you that are new here, this is your girl, no longer, no longer bound, Esther, no longer bound, and AKA Queen C. Pinkston. And this is our Friday book review on Caregiver's Corner. We're talking to our caregivers. We're saying, come in. Let's take a couple of minutes. Let's talk to you. Let's minister to you. Let's comfort you, okay? Now, let me say this. To the guys that are not used to this program, I just want to say welcome. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Hit that little hit that mine down in the right hand corner there to subscribe. Be a supporter of the No Longer Bound family. We do Caregiver's Corner. We do Holy Spirit Review on Sundays. Sit on Wednesdays. We do a change in my attitude book review. We also do our walking, the Alcoma walkers. We got exercise videos. Check out my playlist and just come on in and be a part of the family. Listen, the song that you're listening to in the background, it is from my album, No Longer Bound, and it is produced by none other than the dynamic Daryl Happy at World Dignity Records right here in Rochester, New York. So let's get started. I told that song because what we're talking about today in our prayers of hope for the caregiver, we're on chapter 40, 40, and it says when you're under financial stress, when you're under financial stress, I wrote that song and it says God will provide. Oh my God. So it'll be playing in the background. Let's see if we make it a little softer there. And I want you to know that God will provide for you. Oh, when you hear that song, you'll hear my story. You'll hear my story. How I grew up. Yes, yes, yes. And in receiving public assistance, my mother was. And now we just didn't have enough sometimes. But God always provided. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So let's get this party started, okay? It says here, for those who don't know how, they'll pay their bills. Mm. The Bible says, look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store, store food in barns for your heavenly father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him Ah, uh, then they are. He says, seek the kingdom of God above all else. Live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. That's in Matthew chapter 6, verse 26, and also verse 33, the New Literal Translation. Let's see what our author has to say in our, in our chapter today. She said, anxiety clenches tight as you look at your pile of bills. You know simple math. And it says there's no way out of this mess. Financial pressure may come from many directions. Perhaps your care recipient and your spouse or your child and you're not sure you can shoulder the burdens of his medical costs. Oh, maybe his health declined quickly, forcing you to leave your job or 
reduce your hours to provide care. Maybe you've been getting by, but other needs have pressed in at home, calling for income that isn't available. Dear friend, whatever the cause of this ants, this anxiousness, this anxiety, I pray you'll find hope in God's care. Scripture says he watches over the birds and plants, giving them food that they need. They don't have in this reserve stored away, but they live each day in trust, knowing the Father will provide. You, too, can live daily, can live in trust that your needs will be met. In fact, you are deemed far more valuable to God than any other creature. He calls on you to seek him first, to rest in his presence and follow his way. Will you, in all of your troubles, trials, anxiety, in your financial woes today, will you trust him? Pray with me. Dear Lord, I can't help but worry when I look at the bills coming in. Some of them are big. It's hard to imagine how they can ever be paid. I'm working to make progress. It feels like scooping a a mounting of dirt in a teaspoon? How can I trust you for my needs when I see no way out? I may not envision a way through this, but I'm thankful you do. You care for the birds of the air, providing their food each day. You see me as far more valuable what a comforting reminder that I don't have to carry this burden alone. As I elevate my finances, I'm sorry, elevate is a good word. May your finances elevate in Jesus' name. That was a Freudian slip. As I evaluate my finances, would you give me wisdom to know what to pay first. If there are any bills that can be negotiated, help me contact uh, the right people to make it happen. I ask open dialogue with finance offices and I, I explore all options for clarity as I move forward. I also pray for vision to see ways I can bring in extra income. My schedule is full, but I don't want to miss opportunities to ease the budget. Well, it's seeing possessions, learning a new skill, or utilizing an old skill in a new way. Give me mental and physical energy to pursue all all, all. So what is all, all, all mm. possibilities? No matter what happens in the long term, I place my trust in you today. I may not see how these bill will be, bills will be paid. But I want this trial to draw me closer to you. You provide everything I need and I'll rest in your care. Oh God, in Jesus' name. Listen, Father God, 
in Jesus' name. Mm. I pray, Lord, that you will meet the financial needs of your caregivers today. God, I've been there. I've been there. There were times when I just didn't know how things was going to work out. But I found out that whatever I need is in your word. The first song said, God will provide. That he would make a way out of no way for you. And I'm a living witness because he did it for me. But this song, it says, whatever you need is in God's word. It's also on this album. It says, number 12, whatever you need is in God's word. So if you need financial help, it's in God's word. You need love, you need peace. Because even in financial stress, you need peace. Even in financial stress, you need love. In financial stress, you need joy. In financial stress, you need God's word. Whatever you need is in God's word. I pray that God bless you today. I pray that God give you peace. I pray that all of your needs be met by Christ's riches and glory. God can do it. I need you to say with me, Lord, I trust you. Lord, I'm depending on you. Lord, if you provided for the birds, and I'm more value to you than the birds, you will, you can, and you shall provide for me. I need a man in Jesus' name. God bless you, caregivers. This is your girl, no longer bound. And I will see you next time.